Hello friends, it's Amy with Humility and Doxology, and I am back for another week in the year of memory work. I have been so excited to hear from many of you that you're actually using these videos as part of your own lifelong learning. And I think that that is such a great um, example that we set for our children. We talk a lot about wanting to raise lifelong learners and people who love learning just for the sake of it, who delight in truth, goodness, and beauty. And it's important that we're modeling that for our children. So if you are one of the, the grown-ups, the moms or dads who are enjoying memorizing this poetry on your own, I am so glad you're here. And if you're using it with your children, I would love to hear stories or see pictures of those precious little ones uh, reciting some of these some of these passages. This week, um, we are actually going to do an excerpt from a speech by Winston Churchill because on June 4th, 1940, so kind of this time in history, uh, he delivered his famous speech. And I'm sure you will recognize, well, one of his famous speeches, I should say. And I'm not gonna say anymore. I, you, I've given you the hint of the date. And I'm going to read this excerpt to you and see if you can, can catch the context. I'm sure it will be familiar to you all. So grab your printable and make sure if you have a friend who would enjoy it, you pass it along to them as well. All right. June 4th, 1940, Winston Churchill. I have myself full confidence that if all do their duty, if nothing is neglected, and if the best arrangements are made as they are being made, we shall prove ourselves once again able to defend our island home, to ride out the storm of war, and to outlive the menace of tyranny, if necessary for years, if necessary alone. At any rate, that is what we are going to try to do. That is the resolve of His Majesty's government, every man of them. That is the will of Parliament and the nation. The British Empire and the French Republic, linked together in their cause and in their need, will defend to the death their native soil, aiding each other like good comrades to the utmost of their strength. Even though large tracts of Europe and many old and famous states have fallen or may fall into the grip of the Gestapo and all the odious apparatus of Nazi rule. We shall not flag or fail. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And even if, which I do not for a moment believe, this island or a large part of it were subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas, armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until, in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Now, as you can tell, this is just one excerpt of that We Shall Fight on the Beaches speech. Um, I encourage you to read the speech in its entirety, and I will make sure to include that in the video description. All right, I'll see you next week.